William Perkins was a powerful Reformed minister and theologian who was one of the most foremost leaders of the early Puritan movement in the Church of England. We've published many of his works. And this work that we've just finished is among one of the best and most important called the calling of the ministry. If you're a minister and you're in the ministry right now and you've not read this work, for shame. You should get this work and read it thoroughly, multiple times. If you're thinking about going into the ministry, get the work and study it because it'll place a great amount in perspective the pastoral office and its gravity. If you're a Christian and you want to know what a minister should look like, how he should act, or maybe your church is looking for a minister right now, then this particular work will be indispensable for you. Why? Because preaching today and pastoral ministry today is in rapid decline. Pulpits all over the planet are filled with ministers who gain a paycheck, but little else. They give nothing. William Perkins explains what it means to be truly called to the holy office of the minister. And he does this in this work from two principal texts, Job chapters 32 and 33 with an emphasis on verse 23 being one in a thousand in Isaiah 6, 1 to 13, demonstrating God's calling and commission of the prophet Isaiah. Perkins says that the words in Job contain, quote, a valuable description of a true minister, end quote. How he is a messenger, how he is an interpreter, how he is one in a thousand. Then he explains Isaiah 6, 1 to 13, of Isaiah's confirmation, showing Isaiah was fearful, stunned, cast down, comforted, and renewed in his commission to go and be sent of God to preach for Christ's glory. Amazing work, insightful work, helpful in every way for the Christian, the church, and the minister. And this work is available right now at Puritan Publications. Go to www. Dot PuritanPublications.com for more information on this work in both ebook and in print form. Perkins explains that men ought to consider the extreme presumption of those who rashly enter the ministry. Many ministers come into God's presence unsanctified, in their sins, little concerned about how loosely they live before the people. Perkins will not make the ministry an easy door to open, so be warned ahead of time. That's because faithful exegesis on important passages about the ministry shows it to be a hard and difficult road. Being God's mouthpiece is not an easy task, but being called to it is an honor that is inexpressible. May the Lord bless you as you study along in Job and in Isaiah with William Perkins on this most important topic.